Derringer Shannon Blanc for Thanksgiving. I'll open it right now. Again, what do we have here? Butternut apple soup. Butternut apple soup and cranberry? Spicy nuts and zucchini cornbread. Oh, spicy nut and zucchini cornbread. That's my favorite. Never heard of it, but it's going to be my new favorite. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, I think I know what we're having now. Fresh spinach, cranberries, and pecan salad with Worcestershire and rice vinegar dressing. And this is delicious. I could eat this every day. It is good. I have to buy more spinach. <laughs> mm, yeah. We have lots of greens going on today. Course number two of a Thanksgiving feast. Our elegant stay at home Thanksgiving 2023. Harvest, penne, turkey steaks, pears, and blue cheese. This is some recipe. Right, hon? It should be a, an adventure all the way around. Lots of flavor. So happy Thanksgiving, and this, this is going to be a, a special one for sure. We've got a five-star restaurant meal going on here. Harvest penne, turkey steak, pear and blue cheese, and spinach. What a meal. I probably didn't say that in the right order. You That's know. okay. You got it all. Uh, how about a corrected version? Nope. So that was our Thanksgiving dinner today. It was kind of an early dinner. And now we're having coffee on the counter. And we've got a special movie to watch tonight. A little bit more on that later. But just as a recap, reading the menu of what we had tonight. We had butternut apple soup, fresh spinach salad with cranberries and pecans. And for me, I think that was the best tasting item that we had. Uh, spiced nuts and zucchini cornbread, my new cornbread favorite from now on. And what else, honey? We had turkey steaks with spinach, red pear, and blue cheese. And then we had a harvest penne. Instead of stuffing, dressing, we had a harvest penne with diced butternut squash, baby arugula, dried cranberries, and a basil pesto. That was the kick, and it was tasty. What about the Asagio cheese? Mm, I left it out. Okay. I didn't miss it. And then what we didn't show in the video was our dessert. We had chocolate fudge pudding with a coconut Russell store with chocolate, sugar free. And we're having our all of it. And we had Derringer Chambon Blanc throughout. And we had a little bit more than our typical drinking day. We drank half a bottle, half for tomorrow. 
And well, since she left it out, we could go back and do that part over again. <laughs> she, are you kidding? The chocolate part? Oh, the chocolate part, but not the wine. No. And then we have chocolate macadamia flavored coffee, which we're having a, a second cup right now. So the smoothie I've got picked out for tonight is Oppenheimer. came out earlier this year. It got a 93% on the tomato meter. So that, that says something for the movie. And all I know is that it's about a, a, a physicist that worked at the Los Alamos lab in New Mexico who developed the atom bomb in World War II and lost his security clearance because of an affiliation with the Communist Party and died of throat cancer because he was a heavy smoker. That's all I know about it. Some of the comments on the tomato meter said it was a three-hour movie and kind of hard to get through. It keeps jumping back and forth present and past. So I'll see if I can keep up. It's got a good cast. So that's the end of our Thanksgiving video. And as you can see on the wall behind me, it was our elegant stay of home Thanksgiving dinner. Every bit worth the printout that that banner cost. And it was at least, must have been, a five-star quality restaurant menu. Enjoyed it. Happy Thanksgiving.